Sup, 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 my name is Rear for the Uyghur Council, and this is the deck profile that will you'll be seeing, well, the deck you will be seeing in the Harpy Duel videos. Now, I was going to try out Tempest during this build, but I feel Harpy's Pet Dragon has been a little bit uh, more reliable, per se. I was going to play 3 Dancer, but obviously there's not enough room to really put a third Dancer in. So I feel 2 is optimal now, now that we have Harp, uh, Harpist at uh, our disposal. And Harpist just adds that next level consistency there. I, and I chose not to play Snatch Steel per se for this duel, uh, for, for this duel, for this deck, mainly because this deck has enough aggression as is, and it just needed a few other things, basically better defense than offense. Just so that's clear. That's how I see it. There's going to be one other Harpy deck profile that's going to be the Divine Wind build. A little more centered around that, but the reason I went with this build first, I feel the vanilla build's a little more uh, welcoming to other players. So I've been waiting a while to bring this to you, so let's get to it. I'm running one Harpy's Pet Dragon, three Harpy De er, Queen, three Harpy Harpist, one Zephyros the Elites, three Chandler, three Harpy Lady One. The 300 boost has served me extremely well, and I've been liking it better than Cyber Harpy, and two Harpy Dancer. One Raigeki, one Soul Charge, Soul Charge too good, one Elegant Egotist, two MST, one Book of Moon, three Hysteric Sign, three Harpies Hunting Ground. I'm running two Icarus Attack, some people may not choose to run this, I like it as a defensive offensive base kind of card, kind of how like you play Fire Lake, you want to blow shit up, this is how I look at it. One Torrental, one Capulse, double Vanity's Emptiness, double Phoenix Shane, triple Hysteric Party, one Warning. Now if some of you are wondering, Hey, does your back row ever really get clogged if you have that? Not really, because I'm going to be playing a lot of these. If I need to break it up, that's what the Harpy's Hunting Ground at 3 allows me to do. So I kind of played a little more towards that. If you don't believe this should be at 3, you can just take one out and put a Snatch Seal right there. Or you can put that third Dancer in, whatever your preference is. Hence, I put it in the side deck, because I was trying to figure it in uh, last night while I was building this. But the build has been extremely good to me. I haven't had any issues whatsoever with it. Uh, extremely fast, extremely reliable, lots of power plays, and lots of ways of taking your opponent's light points out. So let's talk about that extra deck. One number 74, Master of Blades. Very good in the Burning Abyss. Still mediocre as a basic card, but still pretty much needed. One Drago Sack, you already know. One Big Eye. One Exceed Rebellion Dragon. This is a good game ender. It helps jump over shit that you normally cannot jump over, and a lot of people underestimate this card. One black ship, and oh, the other thing, especially with all the back row poppage that harpies carry, this card just becomes that much better and excels better in this deck. One black ship, one single 101, one harpies pet, uh, phantasmal dragon. I do love this card, I really do, just like I love Exceed Rebellion Dragon in here. Uh, one Ice Beast, one Castell, double Chidori, double Chidori standard, one Exiton, one level old chain, one Abyss Dweller, one Guy Cowboy. Lava Low Chain, the Harpy Harpist, or Zephyros. You get a search, you get a bounce. Bounce that, bounce that. Cannot bounce that. I, at least I don't believe you can. And then you can bounce that, bounce that. So there's lots of bounce. Lots to bounce. It's very, very, very lovely to bounce. I think this is very, very solid in my opinion. I haven't had any real issues. I don't want to ever dead draw this. But again, it's just part of playing Harpies. If you dead draw it, you dead draw it. You bring it back later with Soul Charge. Uh, did not really care for Tempest. That 2500 defense has been helping with the 300 gains that it experiences through the ass, you know, with things like this. Um, it's just kind of silly, but you'll see that in the dual videos. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment and subscribe. Dual videos will be out the same day as this deck profile. Peace.